Good morning and welcome to the First Baptist Church of Kimberling City's RPM Daily Devotionals, reaching the lost for Christ, preparing the saints for service, and magnifying the Lord. Now let's join Chris King as he brings us today's message. Good morning, church. Glad to be here with you again today. Hey, if you tuned in last night, you heard the Pastor Jeff tell us that uh, as of right now, we're still a go for gathering this Sunday. Uh, so excited about that. Uh, if you didn't see it, or actually, if you've never tuned in on a Wednesday night, all of Pastor Jeff's Bible studies are still available to watch on, on both of our Facebook and YouTube pages. Uh, I also highly recommend watching Pastor Sean's study on Wednesday nights, uh, especially these last couple of weeks. Uh, he's been teaching about the battle is real. Just because it says that it's for the youth doesn't mean that it isn't for anybody else. Uh, go back and check it out. Pastor Sean will really open your eyes on some things. So I highly recommend it. So. Hey, last week, uh, I talked to you uh, about the drive in your life, how what purpose in your life, how, how what your purpose in life drives you through, through life itself. So, but what about life? Uh, this life is not all there is. Most of us have heard that this life is just a dress rehearsal, just a warm up lap. Uh, if time on this earth was all we had in in all honesty, we should be living it up. I mean, consequences wouldn't matter, so there's no repercussions. But death isn't the end. You heard Pastor Jeff teaching, uh, like I mentioned a minute ago last night, uh, through Second Corinthians and Paul's writing uh, during our Wednesday night Bible study, explaining the same thing with, with the body being the tent and, uh, and all of that. So, uh, again, go back, check it out if you didn't catch it. So, But for us, for us believers, death is not termination. It's a transition. Um, actually, it's that way in, in human nature in general. Right? Have you ever noticed that, that especially in the non-believer side, uh, that there's always this human incurable urge that they want to be able to live forever? Uh, they're always looking for that immortality. I mean, they make movies upon movies about it. Uh, there's all kinds of histories of people always looking for the fountain of youth, uh, things like that, so they can live forever. Um, that's because God designed us with that desire to live forever. It, the only issue is, is, is the sinful flesh actually ha has converted our, our thought process to think that the forever is actually here on earth. Uh, when in reality, it's actually eternally with God. He designed us in his, in his image, and that image lives for eternity. Here's the deal on that. On Earth, we have many options, but in, in eternity, there's re in reality only two: it's heaven or hell. C.S. Lewis probably said it best when he said, "There are two kinds of people: those who say, God, Thy will be done,' and those whom God says, 'All right, then have it your way.'" Ecclesiastes three eleven tells us. Oop, on the wrong page there. Yet God has made everything beautiful in his own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart, but even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from the beginning to the end. What this verse is telling us is that this means that we can never be completely satisfied with just earthly measures and pursuits. Again, it's because we are created in God's image. Uh, we have that spiritual thirst. We also have that eternal value. Uh, and knowing that nothing but God can truly ever satisfy us. Uh, the second part of that, it talks about uh, where it said uh, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from the beginning to the end. Uh, that is actually talking about how God's plan is all laid out in his head, but us as humans cannot see it. We have to live through it. So, and through that, knowing that God has done it from beginning to end, you'll be here from the end, and you'll be here for eternity. Um, when we actually grasp that and comprehend that, that concept that there's more to life than just the here and now, <clears throat> you realize that life is actually preparing us for eternity. Knowing that, it should cause us to live differently. It should make us realize that there are eternal consequences for everything that we do here on earth. Uh, one of the most dangerous aspects of life is short-term thinking. Uh, you, you, I, you still goes back to that, that here and now. To make the most out of this life, we must be able to keep the vision of eternity and the value of it on our hearts. 
Uh, unfortunately, most people only think about eternity when they're at a funeral. Uh, but to be honest, it's foolish to go through life and not prepare for what's next. Uh, I mean, we spend all of our lives trying to plan ahead and think ahead, but we don't think beyond the limited of death. We need to think beyond that point. <clears throat> Excuse me. We need to, to think more about eternity, not, not less. Stop and look at life from inception. Uh, we spend the first nine months being carried in our womb. Uh, now, that's not just so we're born and that's the end of it. I mean, it's not over at that point. No, I mean, those, those nine months were preparing you for the next step. Uh, that's when we were developed. That's when you were, you were doing all of that developing to, to prepare yourself for the, for the world, for living. Uh, and, and just like that, here on earth is preparing us for what's next. Death is not the end of your life. It's the birth into your internal life. Uh, so it's it's the same concept they're going. Uh, a few years ago, there was actually a saying that was popular. Uh, it said to, that we needed to live each day like it was the first day of the rest of our life. In reality, it would actually be a better idea to live our life as if it was the last day, live our life as if it was the last day of our life. Uh, Matthew Henry, uh, most of you may be familiar with him, uh, the concordances and, and, and many biblical references. He put it like this. It ought to be the business of every day to prepare for our final day. That's where we've got to wrap our heads around it all. Uh, th there's more to life than just that here and now, like I said. So, so think about this today. Since we were all made to last forever, what is the one thing that, that I should stop doing and what is the one thing I should start doing? Uh, that's that's where we need to turn and look at ourselves and and ask God to to help open that up. So, guys, uh, again, grateful to be here. Let's pray and and uh, we'll get you going. Heavenly Father, thank you again for being able to gather here today. We are so thankful to be able to to spend each day learning and, and listening from your word, uh, hoping the devotions reach into each one of us and and, it's, and that you use that for your will in each one of our lives. Lord, I ask that you you open my eyes and you open all of our eyes to to look beyond just the here and now, just look beyond the 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 short term of, of what am I doing. Uh, what every move and every action that I make affects my eternal life. Uh, how that will, will change, allow that to change uh, my views and, and my actions on here on earth to, to make it more of the value of focusing on what happens in the internal life. Uh, show me those things that I need to change in my life, uh, whether it be I need to stop doing it or whether I need to start doing it. And I pray each one of us, uh, you show each one of us that. So, Lord, we love you. We, again, grateful to be able to be in your presence today. And we pray all this in your name. Amen. All right, guys, just like normal, Sean's up tomorrow morning. We should be good. Other than that, we will actually see you in service on Sunday. Again, you don't feel good, don't stay. We'll still be online. We will be right there with you. Uh, somebody will be right there to talk if you all need to talk to anybody while we're on there. Other than that, thank you, and we will see you later. Thank you again for joining us today. We invite you to watch RPM Daily Devotionals each week, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on YouTube and Facebook. For more information on First Baptist Church and its ministries, go to fbckc.com. From First Baptist Church of Kimberling City, have a blessed day.